Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Thursday, August 19th in New York City. And now, here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. July was a great month for travel in the United States as nearly half of the country's population hit the road, an all-time high since January 2020. However, that figure might represent the peak of U.S. travel this year as COVID variants could stifle a stronger recovery, reports Vice President of Research Heisha Wong. Skift Research's July Travel Tracker survey found that 48.7% of the U.S. population traveled in July, a roughly 6% increase from May. Leisure, business, and international travel all registered substantial growth in July. However, a further recovery might not happen as the Delta variant has spread throughout the U.S. Furthermore, the prospect of any tourism rebound is dimmed by economic worries. 45% of Americans believe the U.S. economy will worsen in the next 12 months. The report also found that respondents expect their future travel spending to decrease. Next, we look at a major integration by Southwest Airlines unit catering to business travel. It added the Sabre Global Distribution System, which it had long coveted. The partnership may enable Southwest to do more than just offer flights for corporate travelers, reports corporate travel editor Matthew Parsons. Southwest started selling its fares through Sabre last month, in addition to doing so previously through Travelport and Amadeus. Companies are able to not only book flights via Sabre, but amend or rebook afterwards, which they weren't able to do beforehand. But perhaps more importantly, Southwest Business Vice President Dave Harvey believes the partnership will provide new opportunities for the unit as Sabre has been pursuing new avenues of distribution and revenue. The global distribution system launched its own storefront concept in March to help travel agencies give more information to bookers and started a long-term partnership with Google. We end today with the extension of the federal mask mandate on U.S. aircraft. Flight attendants are largely in support of the decision, despite being the subject of abuse in many cases from unruly anti-mask passengers, writes contributor Ruthie Munoz. President Joe Biden's administration announced plans this week to extend the mask mandate for travelers on airplanes, trains, and buses, and at airports and train stations through January 18th to combat ongoing COVID risks. Association of Flight Attendants CWA way President Sarah Nelson expressed support for continuing the mandate, which went into effect in February, saying that masks are the most effective tool to keep everyone safe amidst the rise of the Delta variant. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily newsletter at skiff.com daily. Spoken Layer. Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.